this year is probably going to require a lot more ebooks rather than actual books. And I find that PDFs and reading off of files, there's a lot of white that's glaring at you. The page is white, the text is small, and it's black, and it's hard to see. So instead, I'm going to show you how to invert those colors so the text is white and the background is black. So there's a lot less glaring at you, and you can relax your eyes a good bit more. You get less strain over time, and you'll be able to read better, and you'll feel more comfortable about it. So here's how to do it on Fox Reader and also Adobe Acrobat, depending on which one you use. We have Adobe Acrobat, so that's all I'm going to use. Okay, so I've got Fox Reader open here, and we're going to make the background black and the text white. So that way it's easier to read, and then we're going to make the theme black. Now I'm going to make the assumption that you've used a computer before, so I'm going to go through this really quick and not waste your time. So we just go up to File up here, click on it, go to Preferences. Accessibility is the first option. We just click on Replace Document Color, go to Custom Color, Page Background. Uh, scroll this down to just about black, maybe a little bit, a little bit more gray, tiny bit, you won't even notice. And this one, the same, you're going to go for almost white. And then once you have those, the document text is white, page background is black, we press OK. Bam, 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 it's beautiful. I love it, it's great. Um, then we're going to change the background theme, so we're going to go to File again, Change Skin, and we go to Black. There you go. Now it's nice and easy. Now it's not perfect. Um, not all things will convert. This only changes the background. So if there's some links like there are here, or if this text is specifically in red, it might look a bit weird and it doesn't do anything about that. But overall, when you're reading text, you know how to change it if you have to. But if you're just reading text, you should be fine. So I've got Adobe Acrobat open here and we're going to do the same thing that we did with Fox Art Reader. We're just going to go up to Edit down to Preferences. You can also do Control k on the keyboard. Uh, accessibility and Replace Document Colors, Custom Color. Uh, page Background, We're go I'm going to click on Other Color and just scroll it down to just about gray, almost black. And Document Text, also Other Color, I'm just going to scroll it up to almost white. And that'll be perfect. It that's how I like it. And we just hit OK, and it's a lot more comfortable to read now. You can make it slightly more white if you want, you can make it fully white, you can make it fully black. That's just the way I like it. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to change this background now to make that uh, darker as well. So we go to View, uh, Display Theme, and Dark Gray. And that's it. So the way the PDFs work, this isn't guaranteed to work 100% of the time. For example, this document here, uh, is scanned photographs of a book. It's not actually uh, printed in a digital format for the thing to actually contain text. It's just photos. So it won't be able to invert the colors of it, but that is the limitation of the technology itself, and there's not much you can really do there. So that's how to change the background and the text in Adobe Acrobat and Fox Reader. Now, uh, you can also change dark theme on Microsoft Word, but getting Word to actually have the page itself as black is a lot more trouble, and probably a lot more trouble than it's worth. Uh, you can look into that yourself, just Google it. Um, you can also do other things as well. You can get, uh, add, uh, you can get Google Chrome extensions uh, to change websites to be black, or you can get uh, Mozilla Firefox add-ons for the same. Um, you can also use a blue light filter on your computer so that when you're working late into the night or later into the evening, it reduces the amount of blue light and it can help your eyes uh, to strain less during the nighttime hours when everything's darker. Uh, I personally recommend Flux, and you'll find in the description uh, Foxit Reader, a link to that, and also to the, window, the Mozilla Firefox extension that I use. Uh, to change my website it's into a darker color because that that really helps um, If this video has been helpful to you. Hey, please give me a like or something. I don't know That's a thing you can do maybe comment maybe make me feel gratified about the amount of work that I put into this video Anyway, best of luck guys. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a fun year, but um do your best and take care Perfect.